Hey traders, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about retail sentiment and retail sentiment is a really, really simple indicator that can be very powerful when trading for an exchange. Here's the basic rundown. What you're seeing on the screen right here is a list of assets that we track the retail sentiment on or the positionings of retail traders. If we track all of the retail traders, it can give us some very interesting signals on whether to go long or short a particular currency pair or asset like US 30, Euro CHF, gold, doesn't matter. Knowing what the retail tra uh, trader is doing on average can be a very powerful indicator. And here's what this is showing. What you're seeing on your screen, which I'm gonna show you how to get access to for free in just a minute, is basically just a summary of positions held long or short by retail traders ranked from highest buys to lowest buys or highest sells. So for example, if we're taking a look at the highest rated one, GBP CHF, this is telling us that 93% of positions opened on pound CHF right now are actually long by retail traders. Why is that information useful to us? Well, here's why. Let's let's break it down. If we know that the average retail trader here is buying or long GBP CHF, the common retail trader is going to on average unfortunately lose money. And so when I said that this can be a potential signal for other traders to consider is because if we know what the average retail trader is doing, we can avoid like the plague what they are doing because they very often are on the wrong side of really, really bad trades. So for example, if we go take a look at GBP CHF just real quick, we'll pull this up GBP CHF. <clears throat> and we can see that what is the pound Swiss up to? Well, it's trending to the downside. And again, we go back to our chart for a second. What are the retail traders doing? Their 93% of their positions are actually on the long side. They've been buying this market as it's been trending to the downside. And this is not coincidence. I bet if we take another example real quick, you could probably see a similar thing. So maybe NZD CAD, the, most, the second most bought currency pair. NZD CAD, look at this. It's been trending to the downside and sure enough, retail traders are betting that this thing is going to go up. Now, how can we take advantage of this? Well, first of all, you're gonna to need to know where to find this information. And we just put together a free page where you can access this data. So if you go to a1trading.com, we'll link it down below in the description, or you can just search it up on Google. And then you scroll down just to where this tool says retail sentiment. We could probably also find it in the, uh, in the uh, top section here as well. But if you go to retail sentiment and just click on this, and it's gonna take you right here to this link right there. This retail sentiment page uh, is where you're going to basically be able to get this information 100% for free uh, on a large basket of different currency pairs and markets uh, that you could consider. And a quick pro tip here from Chandler, the editor. <laughs> Once you find this page, make sure to bookmark it. That way you don't have to go looking for it again. It's right there, ready to go. This is Nick from the future cutting in and I just wanted to let you know that we have a ton of free tools on our website. I know we're talking specifically about retail sentiment today, but our, our, our website has a whole bunch of great products and features for free. If you're an aspiring Forex trader and you could use some extra tools and market data, we have a bunch of it for free available on our website, a1trading.com. We have COT data, We can you can take a look at top brokers and all sorts of other good stuff, as well as read articles from our team who puts out free articles on a consistent basis about what's happening in the Forex market, keeping you up to date. So if that would be helpful, again, make sure to check out a1trading.com. So then once you have this information, how do we actually use it? So you now have access to this and you can take, for example, your favorite currency pairs. Maybe you like to trade Pound New Zealand. Well, if we know that Pound New Zealand has a 69%, nice, 69% long relative to a 31% short, if we know that that is the ratio of what retail traders are doing, we know that the, the average trader on GBP and ZD is buying this thing. Whoops, I just messed that up. Sorry about that, my computer freaked out for just a second. So let's say we're looking at Pound New Zealand, okay? And if we pull up Pound New Zealand, what we'll notice is that this thing is trending to the downside. And if we know that the average retail trader is picking up long positions on this market, then we probably don't wanna be buying it ourselves. In fact, we probably wanna look for opportunities to go short. And so this is an indicator that we very commonly track here at A1 Trading to get an idea of what the crowd is doing so that we can position ourselves accordingly. Now again, if everybody on the long side is just holding on to this thing and hoping that this thing will reverse and eventually go up, 
that's hopium and hopium is not a great trading strategy trust me i've been there done that just hoping that the market's going to go in your direction is a really dangerous way to play it conversely if we take a look at this and we say objectively well the retail crowd is stuck in a long position instead of trying to go long ourselves and beg the market to reverse let's just look to go short and in favor of the overall downward trend that we're seeing very commonly what you're gonna see you guys is that usually when these markets become more extreme and they trend well, retail traders unfortunately are just holding on to the wrong side of that trade. So there you go. Basically how you can get access to this tool is you can use the link down below in the description or just search up a1trading.com and find our retail sentiment section. Now, one further is if you get our actual full product, you can see every asset, including some of the marked off ones like gold, pound yen, pound dollar, euro dollar, dollar yen. If you get the full access, which will be linked down below in the description as well. Let me go ahead and move my camera here just a little bit. You'll be able to see the, uh, the full list of assets. So we'll be able to get things like, for example, gold here, which has 65% of retail traders are long and only 35% are short. That's useful information to us if your favorite asset is, for example, example, gold or euro dollar or pound dollar, etc. So not only this, though, if we take it one further, we actually factor this into the analysis behind our trades. So let me show you something. You saw it briefly earlier on in the video. Let me see if I can pull up CAD JPY. And if we take a look at CAD yen, this is uh, one of the currency pairs that I'm actually currently long. So if I take a look at CAD JPY, I just took a trade. Of course, it's very, er very early on in the position. It's a live account. I'm not messing around with any fake profits or anything like that. Real account, all that good stuff. I'm long on this partially due to the fact that retail traders are super short biased on this pair. And if you don't believe me, it's because uh, you haven't looked at this yet. Let's take a look at the, the CAD JPY trade uh, uh, screen. And what you can see here is that if we look over right, let's zoom in here, right here, notice that only 12% of positions opened are long and a whopping 88% of retail traders are shorting this market. So if we know that the retail trader is super short biased on this one, that's going to indicate to us that it's actually probably going to go up. It's not a guarantee, but it's an indicator that we use here at A1 Trading. We track what retail traders are doing and we make sure that we're not in the same camp as them because it's very often a very painful place to hang out. So if we look at retail sentiment, we actually, in this particular category, we get a plus one. And the reason for that is because when retail sentiment is piled heavily in one direction, for us that means 60% or more, we get a signal to go the other direction. And that's something that we pay attention to. Again, it's a very simple indicator, just tracking what retail traders are doing and betting against them. It's not trying to be mean, it's just the way the markets work. We know that retail traders very often get bullied and hold on to losing positions, and we wanna do the exact opposite. Get rid of losing positions quickly and hold on to winning ones and hold them against oftentimes, unfortunately, the retail crowd, which is stuck in the wrong side of a trade. So again, what I want you to do right now is click the link down below in the description, get access to this 100% for free if you go for our website version. And if you would decide to go ahead and get the full version, which allows you to get so many indicators and market data, you can get the Edge Finder, which is our market scanning tool that you're seeing on the screen right here. If you'd like access to that, you can get it for a subscriber discount here on YouTube by clicking the link down below in the description and punching in the promo code at checkout. So thank you guys very much for watching. Good luck with your trading, and I hope this was helpful to you. See you next time. Looks like it's time for your next trading video. Check out the videos here and here for more free trading content that should help you in your trading journey. We try and keep it real here, so make sure to subscribe for more content that is down to earth, realistic Forex trading content. See you in the next video.